So this is a very special monitor. We are talking the world's thinnest portable monitor coming in at just five millimeters thick. This also has a touch screen. So if you always wanted your MacBook to have a touch screen or your Windows laptop, you can plug this in and this will give you complete touch screen functionality. This only weighs 890 grams, also has built-in speakers, supports Windows, Mac, even Samsung phones, and also Huawei. On the back, we can see this is the Expresso display with their logo, Your Workspace Anywhere. And we can see this also won various awards. Okay, let's open that up. Okay, so not gonna lie. I mean, that is just ridiculously thin, guys. As I mentioned before, we're talking five millimeters thickness. Okay, so we can see on the side here, we have a couple of ports. Here we can see two Type-C USB ports. So if your device is of a newer type and it supports Thunderbolt 3, you can plug that straight in but it also supports the older devices just with native USB Type-C. And here we can see our mini HDMI port. On the other side, we have two buttons here and we also have the audio out. But definitely guys, you can tell just with the build quality, this is a really well-made premium screen. So that's the first thing you get in the box. Let's put that to one side. We also get a microfiber cleaning cloth. We have a mini HDMI to full-size HDMI cable. We have a USB-A to Type-C cable. And lastly, we have a Type-C to Type-C cable. Now I also got mine with the Expresso Mango arm. So as you can see in the picture, we can use this stand and just mount the monitor on top of it. And with magnets that should just stay on there. So let me also take that out. And this is what it looks like. So if I just open this up. Okay, so this is what the stand looks like. And I'm hoping now when I get the monitor, this should hopefully just, there you go. You just heard that satisfying click. So I can now move that around, adjust that, and that is actually solid. So that's definitely not falling off. Now just starting with my MacBook, we have a single Type-C USB cable. I can plug that into the port here. Give that a second. This will now draw power from my MacBook and allow me to create a secondary display. But the key thing is, if I now open up one of my applications, uh, let's try Safari, here we are. So not only do I have a secondary display, I can now actually use my fingers and get that touchscreen functionality on my MacBook. I know this is something that people have been asking for a long time that why can't we have MacBook with the touchscreen? But we see that works absolutely fine. It's very responsive. I can do the pinch to zoom. If I click on something, uh, let's go for the phone. Click on that. I'm now looking at the phone. I can now use my normal gestures like two fingers swipe back and that takes me back to the previous page. The only slight caveat is with MacBooks is to get the touchscreen functionality, you do have to buy some extra software, which cost about 25 or 30 pounds. So it would be great if that was actually bundled with the monitor, but that's one of the caveats on MacBooks. Whereas on Windows, you can plug this in, get that touchscreen functionality straight away without any other additional costs. But because you're on this MacBook, that's working absolutely fine. I can zoom in, I can double tap and do all of the gestures I would normally do on the trackpad, I can now do directly on the screen here with my fingers. So that's working great on the MacBook. And I'm sure everybody already knows the benefits of just having two screens. So, I mean, on my laptop here, I could be looking at my website, I could be doing some video editing on this side, or maybe watching a video. Um, just gives you so much more screen real estate to get your stuff done. Now, this being a touch screen, what that means is if I now drag this window over here, I can now carry on reading this article and of course, just use my fingers to navigate around. If I want to do the zooming, I can just do this. And you can see that actually is very, very responsive. I mean, again, it is a 1080p display, but for most people, 1080p should be, uh, should be okay. Now watching videos on this thing. Here we see some YouTube playback and the colors definitely do look very punchy, very vibrant. That really is a fantastic crisp picture. So whether you want to look at the news on this side or you want to play some World of Warcraft on that side, just having this portable monitor with you really does give you that extra flexibility. Uh, for example, if you want to do some video editing or you want to touch up some photos, you can grab this monitor, take it with you to your coffee shop or to the library or wherever you can get out to, open up your laptop, plug a single cable into this, and you can then have an extra screen to do that work. So it does make the whole process just so much easier. So we can see some Reddit on this side, doing some browsing and enjoying some Dr. Disrespect on that side. 
and the monitor really does have some very vibrant, very good colors. The monitor also supports DeX, which is the Samsung offering. So what that means is on my Samsung phone, I can plug in the single Type-C USB cable directly into the phone, put the phone down. We can see that the monitor powers on straight away. And this is the only cable that the monitor is now using. So it's drawing power from my phone and I now have a fully featured desktop. I can open up applications like my gallery and see my photos in there. I can swipe down, I can click on one of these, pinch and zoom, and it's all very, very responsive. I can open up a browser and that's working great. Really fast, really responsive. So wrapping this up, what are my closing thoughts on this Espresso display? Well, overall, I'd say there really is a lot to like about this ultra portable monitor. Um, we can start with the premium build quality, the fantastic color reproduction. Uh, we saw it also has a great selection of ports, works great on Windows, on Mac, supports Samsung DeX. You can even plug your Nintendo Switch into that and it works straight away out of the box. And of course, we can't ignore the headline feature, just how ridiculously thin it is. On the negatives, um, I just wish that the stand, which I think is actually fantastic, was included in the price and also the fact that we didn't have to pay any extra to get that support on Macs. But as you've seen in the demonstration on other devices, on Windows, everything just works great out of the box. And overall, I would say that this is the best portable monitor I've used on my channel and it will now be the monitor I use in all of my upcoming videos. So that really is a statement in itself. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag Espresso, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comments. So really do appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.